get a little crazy out there today. Maybe I can bring my son back up here. I right, run it for me. Catalytic converters. They need platinum. How much they got in there? 10 million. You need a miracle to pull this off. This guy is one of my all-time favorites to talk to. Singer, actor, what? activist. What? <laughs> Hold on. I'm hey. looking for it. Yeah, it's, where is it? We're getting all this action here, you can't even see Wait, it. I'm trying to find a place to plug up. It's so cold in here. It, it is cold, cold, yeah. I need to, I need to plug, this is a steamer. I need yeah. to plug up my heater. And I'm so chilly. Maybe we'll no, no, get that there, Larry. Crawl into the Let's desert. Let's all just cuddle up together. Yeah, get some on. Let's just warm up. Yeah, how do you do this? Up early with us. I'm so I'm oh. so blessed to be here. Oh. He is I'm sorry. So, so good to see you. Uh, let me let me read this intro here because I want to. Oh, he's I'm got sorry. a he, he planned a big intro. I just want people to know that you've got a new movie that's coming out. Okay. About sorry. a father <laughs> raising his son in turbulent times <laughs> during the Los Angeles riots of 1992. Uh, the executive producer is Snoop Dogg. In case you haven't seen already, Tyrese is right there. Sitting right over there. Wow. <laughs> I can speak now? You may speak now, my friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, That's I'm why a, you're a do legend. You not want me <laughs> to How long you been, How long have you been a WGN now? I, a long time. Okay, long, you were long, a legend. Long, long, long and this time. is why you don't let nobody mess with your focus. He <laughs> said, right. I love you, Mr. Man in the Red Beanie. Yeah. Yeah. I got to read this telephone. I got to read this script. I got to get this <laughs> intro <laughs> heater. Right. <laughs> How are you doing, man? It's been good to see I love you. that you're smiling. Good to see you. I think the last time I saw you was at the last time we, uh, the last Fast and Furious movie. Yes. Uh, probably so much has gone on uh, since then, including this new movie, 1992. Yeah, 1992. Uh, oh, my. I mean, when you look at the trailer, it could make you think and believe that the whole film is about rioting, looting, mm -hmm. uh, because of the, the verdict of the Rodney King riots. Yeah. But... Uh, some of y'all might be very confused with what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it. I just realized that 1992 would be equivalent to the Fast and the Furious for South Central L.A. films. Mm. Mm. You have never seen this much diversity in any South Central L.A. film. Colors, Menace to Society, Straight Outta Compton, Baby Boy, Poetic Justice, Set It Off, you name it. Mm. And so Ray Liotta, rest in peace, yeah. has a son, and Scott Eastwood, and Dylan, who was in the, uh, the uh, Christopher Nolan film recently that just came out. While the riots and the lootings were happening, yeah. they decided to do a heist and break into an Amazon-type warehouse wow. yeah. and steal $50 million in platinum plates. Uh, now, we all know that platinum is worth more than gold, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So Ray Liotta had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. So he's yeah. like, okay, while well, everybody's burning, fighting, and looting, and stealing stuff, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get with my sons and yeah. my crew, and we're going to go, and that's uh, what they did. So huh. this movie is going to have you on the edge of your seats. It is very, um, it's a crime thriller. It's, it's action it's everything. I'm not really good at selling movies. Oh, but no, you're not? Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you need to come out of your shell well, a little bit. If you wasn't at the press junket, then it, it becomes even harder to open a movie in Chicago. So, so. you're used to seeing this, this oh, face? My, oh, I mean, my I don't do press junkets without this legend right here. We, I, I had a moment back during my you. press junket. I was like, I don't feel successful right now because my guy is not here. <laughs> yeah. wow. You get some music coming out, too. Yes. Yeah, sure. Double album. Yes, come talk about it. Come on. Double album. Have you ever heard? It's a double album. Have you ever heard of a legend named David Foster? Yeah. What? How did this all come together? Okay. So David Foster, I got to tell y'all, rest in peace to my beloved mother, who transitioned two years ago of all days on Valentine's Day. Oh no. So let me give you a quick story. How much time we got? Yeah. Go Anyway, push the time. Yeah. We got enough bad stuff going on in the world. We'll report about it in a second. Yeah. Okay. So. 50 years ago, David Foster released a song called Wildflower and his mm. original group called Skylark. There's been many different remakes of Wildflower, huh. including a group called New Birth, but David Foster has never gotten in the studio to produce or co-produce any other version until now. Oh, wow. The song just got released. It's I dedicated think we have a to little my mother. Bit of it you gotta look up. We you gotta look. Let's you, listen. Let's what, listen to it. See, this is how much y'all love me. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's listen. It's it just here. got released on all streaming platforms. It's called Wildflower. Here we go. Hardest time you could imagine. 
Legend. You should have played the hook. Okay. I know. It takes us a minute. Should have came in with this Walk better back crowd. To tears, Lord, okay. We have a DJ background here, so we'll just talk up to the post here, up to the hook. Okay. So this is one of many songs on the album, but this Wait, is dedicated to your They can hear us? Oh, yeah. We're live? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait, turn the music off. Turn the music off. Talk time is good. Turn the music off, please. <laughs> Bring the volume down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Okay, so guys, listen. Yeah. Wildflower is available on all streaming platforms. All of you youngsters know what that means. But I want to just say this. This might sound very uncomfortable because I think when people want to sell albums, they want to sell it to everybody. I have to tell mm-hmm. you guys, 16-year-olds and teenagers, this is not an album for TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to do none of this on this album. <laughs> As a matter of fact, your brother and sister will be made from this album. <laughs> this is what's called a post-pandemic. This is grown, married music. Your yes. mama and your daddy are going to be slow dancing in the living room while you go night-night. Go do yeah. your homework. The nanny is waiting to drop you off in carpool. This is adult music. I am Finally. not trying to appeal to yeah. you youngsters. I, I ain't got nothing for you. Now, I want to just tell y'all something. I know I look cool, and I know I'm one of your favorites from the Fast and the Furious. But I'm 45 years old. I'm a grown man. Here's a couple names that will put you to sleep, okay? Donnie Hathaway, oh. Marvin Gaye, oh. James Brown, Teddy Pendergrass, okay? Real music. Mm-hmm. That's where I come yeah. from. Yes. That's where my mama raised me and yep. con- conditioned my yeah. mind. This album produced by David Foster and Brandon Bam Hodge, 20 songs oh. live, mm. all about my divorce, all about me finding love again, oh, wow. discovering the beauty in my pain. Yeah. Lenny Kravitz, Kenny G. Have you ever heard of Kenny G, boys oh. and girls? Yep. Wait, you and-, and Kenny G are hanging out? Kenny G is on the album. Yeah. Lenny Kravitz wow. is on the album. Elder Barge is Elder on the Barge. album. Wait, where's Are he, you? Where's he been? Elder Barge has been waiting on me. Okay? Go to Tyrese.tv to pre order the double album. You know what? We've got a QR code. Wait a You wait. do not what? have a QR code. Hey, yeah. a you better pull your cell phones out right now. Hey. 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 Wait a minute! You scan. This is why I love you. Scan this. Have you pulled your phone out yet? Scan this right here, Tyrese. It'll take you to Tyrese.tv and you can get all your latest Tyrese news uh, available right there. At 1992 and the Beautiful Pain album is both dropping on the same day. Labor Day weekend. You're going to be able to pull out your red wine and listen to a beautiful pain album. It's the only album that belongs on vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Kids go to sleep. This ain't for you. Okay? It's nice. 25 and older. A nice little adult That's album. That's right. You know what I mean? Finally. It's about time. Come I'm on. so tired of little Tay Tay and little JJ dropping out. <laughs> Can't even pronounce their name when they come up here and do an interview. Oh, my God. Oh, it's it's so great to see you. The very quiet, the very demure, oh, God. the very shy Tyrese. <laughs> Always wonderful to have See, you here. Yeah. 1992 yeah. Labor Day weekend. That's it. It's time. Let's go. Thanks right. for coming up. I'm so Thanks grateful. Thanks for coming in early for us. Appreciate it. Hey,